and it's not going to be the golf clubs or the household pets or anything else like that. It's going to be uh, the time, so time to get the information, the data, so that you can make the right decisions. That time needs to be uh, well enough, big enough, so that you can maintain your workload and make the right decisions at the right time. And how do you get that time? Well, with situation awareness, your eyes and your ears. So if you don't have situation awareness and sense of data, then you then you know nothing, and then you will lose the fight. So introducing the new sensor suite, which we just had a walk around and looked at, the uh, up to the right, the active electronically scanned array. So suddenly you have thousand radars that look everywhere at the same time. And we put it on the swash plate. You see this angled swash plate, which you can rotate almost 90 degrees off and still looking at your target, which is ahead of you, and maintain situation awareness while you are essentially moving away from that threat. That threat. That's going to be very significant, and that's unique. I talked about the, the capabilities that you need these days. Tradition has always been a, a fighter radar, uh, so you have very restricted frequency coverage of your electronic warfare system, which is still the case in almost every fiber on the market today. In the Gribbon E, we've expanded that frequency coverage down to very low frequencies so that we can detect. So the proactive jamming of radars on the ground in the air, which you cannot do unless you're on every aircraft, every day, every mission, and that's unique. Right. So the eyes and the ears, now talk, let's talk about the brain, how we use that sensor data. Uh, and make some uh, reason to the pilot, how we have support the pilot to make the right decisions. Uh, the, the wide area display, that, that's just a digital display. The magic happens really behind the, the whole uh, display in itself, where we talked about with some of you how we uh, take the decision support to the next level, where the pilot gets proposals of what he or she will do in the next phase of the fight, how I should fly after I fly the missile, when I fire the missile and not to fire the missile, it will present you another example for survivability. When you have a complex threat scenario, it, the aircraft will tell you where a threat missile can be in every given moment and also offer you an option how to fly to stay away from that threat. Things that we have to make our mind, mind self uh, with our training, our experience, but now you have support in the cockpit that helps you to do that. So the flying bit is getting much, much easier. But please don't tell the other fighter pilots that I said so. Quality, and then send it across the four ship or eight ship or six ship, and then fuse the information so that you will see only one, one symbol in your aircraft that is of the best quality, the best data that you can get. All that happens automatically, and this is also something that will give the group of pilot much better situation awareness, the eyes and the ears, and the much better decisions for the brain. Right. To give you that time I talk about, the best trend of the fight about the time in the future fight. So the network enabled warfare uh, is something that you read about, but what is it really and why is it important? So if you look at this group in the middle here, uh, over the 40, 50 years of uh, fighter business we've been doing, or everywhere in the world, you with this uh, aeroplane in the middle, you use your own active radar to find those two targets up there on the top, and then you fire your missile, and you support that missile with data from your own sensor, active sensor. This is the way that people do it, most Air Forces do it still today, but now this is all changing. Suddenly you are this gripping here, and you are using your passive sensors, you're not emitting anything. So you get information from the other team, Sweden, General Helga Son said two things, uh, important statements. He said, this is going to be a game changer in the Baltics, which is the uh, operation environment with Russia as uh, the kind of uh, opposing neighbor. And he also said a second thing, which is uh, uh, a Sukhoi killer, a black belt is Sukhoi killing. Now I know that you have Sukhois in, in India, but he was of course referring to the Sukhois in India before. Double range up to 300 kilometers. New avionics, sea skimming, own radar seeker of a new design so that it can 
suppress the electronic counter card mesh environment. So very you suddenly can uh, angle your radar above your like three nine line above your shoulder. But what does that mean? It means exactly this. That you can move away from the from the target, from the threat, while other aircraft like that one have to kind of essentially fly towards the threat. And that's a big difference. That is, uh, as you said, extremely essential uh, in, in, uh, in the modern battle space. So before we move to the other side of the aeroplane, we will look at... We uh, use, I say, that we use your data as a weapon in this aeroplane, uh, where others are not able to do it the same way today. So it makes you much better. That would be the Indian Air Force or any other Air Force, with their own programs and programs, the ability to go and do those upgrades. And when, why is that important? Well, in the times when you go from peace to uh, no peace, no war, crisis into the kind of uh, grayscale towards uh, God forbid war, that's when all the enemy hostile uh, emitters, radar frequencies, modulations, and everything else will change. And that's when you need to pick up that information, take the data, analyze it, and upgrade it into your tactical system. So you put your helmet, like you said. Yes. And I'm going to fly, I can design, designate the target, look over there, and then you can slave at the pod to look at that. And then you have very much higher zoom. So the is a CCD, so a uh, camera that has very high zoom, but it also has high arm, so you can do a uh, uh, visual light. No, that's, that's all part of the truth. So it has high arm. Technology. So this is a targeting project. It's also a part of the electronic warfare suite, so it looks a bit different than other equipment, so there's some equipment previously. So this uh, pod here, together with the wing pods, is what gives you the uh, power. On the real aircraft on this side you will see uh, some uh, uh, holders for... Uh, very good. Right, I think we should go and take maybe... Uh, at the time uh, in the cockpit and I can talk a little bit about uh, uh, what the cockpit and the decision support for the pilot is. But that's also one of the unique aspects of the concept of human machine collaboration, how we lift up the decision support for the pilot and the so. so I think uh, if I go out there and uh, Chris, if you might, you can send up three or four of the time please. Okay, thank you very much. So I'll go out first my cockpit. You will see an example of that later. It also does uh, lazy, so laser designation for basic icons. And it has uh, provision of data links, so you can send a picture to a ground station in the ground, uh, and so on and so on. So it's a basic, very versatile kit, very useful. We always vibrate it when we have a. Briefly, please. Okay. Four. Okay. On your own preference, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, the decision board it's now powered by uh, data models of uh, like an AI, uh, AI power. So it will now uh, present new ways of information to the pilot where you get projection of things that will happen in maybe 30 minutes, 30 seconds, 45 seconds or one minute into the fight and uh, getting uh, decision support to the pilot. So for instance, when to fight, the easiest ways that I, I sit in and talk, and then you can come and be in. So, I would take one. Yes. So, the most notable differences between the Gruppen E and other Gruppens is the new wide area display. It's how to fly away once you've done your missile firing to stay out of, away from danger. So, getting new ways of uh, decision support, new levels where pilot can have a much lower workload and focus on the, on the task itself. Uh, most other, if not all other fighters, so up, up until today, all these things, we a lot of information and solves many of the kind of small little problems where, where you have to make your manual inputs before, and that will make you much more efficient to fight. What about the injection? So the injection thing is here. So it's a Martin Baker rocket chair. That's the one? And this is the one, yeah. So it's uh, been used if you need, need it. Zero, zero, so you can use it on 
with no in zero speed on zero altitude on the ground if that's needed, and uh, it will uh, eject you safely. It's so it's a very very good piece. Of it's a parachute. Or? It has a parachute in the, in the chair, but in also the, chair. Uh, uh, the, air, the pilot will have a parachute. So this is a parachute in the real real uh, uh, seat. There will be parachute parachute behind your back. So when you eject. You get separated from the chair automatically, and then you will have your own. This, this opens. So this uh, this will blow. So this is a uh, explosive bullet. Yeah. So when I eject, this explosive bullet will uh, break the canopy break the in two, and then uh, you have these little uh, little kind of horns on the top of. So they will also push the uh, canopy away. So uh, that's why you have a helmet, so you yeah. you kind of get a little bit of uh, protection about any uh, small glass particles. That that's that's the procedure that uh, the ejection. What is the speed of it? So we sp uh, the max speed of a good penny is about Mach 1.8, something like that, depending on how much. Uh, uh, so the mission. Uh, uh, yeah, the mission. Uh, how much things you carry on your wings. Okay. If you carry a lot of uh, heavy uh, stuff. Okay. Yeah. But it's uh, the high speed in the fight today is not really uh, what will win the fight. It was like that before. Now it's uh, the sensor data, the situation awareness, the, uh, the networking exchange of information. So the data, uh, the quality of uh, your data and uh, the ability to make decisions before uh, the enemy does. That, that are, those are the ones, uh, one things that will win you the fight in today's battle. Mm. It's, so, a real, uh, it's a real aircraft or it's a dummy? Like? Sorry, sir? Hmm? It's a real aircraft or a dummy? This is a, a full scale replica, so this is a replica. Yes, dummy. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. It looks very, uh, very genuine. It's yeah, quite natural. Yeah, it's quite natural. natural. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. In the aero show, you will be bringing? I don't know, that, that's the plan, but, no, but maybe that's in February already. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's too early for us to. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe. I think last call. last year's show Gripen was there. There was maybe yeah. in one of the arenas some years back there has been some years back. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Presenting okay. the next team. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you.